Buildings account for about a third of total energy use worldwide. They contribute to about 30% of energy-related CO2 emission. The GPPN's mission is to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions from the building sector. And our research shows that the deep path is possible. The deep path results in 80% less energy demand from buildings globally. To achieve this saving, today's state-of-the-art building energy performance codes and complementary policies need to be optimised in regional jurisdictions by 2020. Real estate sectors and construction industries are at the forefront when it comes to designing, developing, constructing and managing our built environment. They are central in shaping energy use. Is the building industry ready to go deep and play its role in meeting climate change? What policies drive their investments in energy efficiency? To investigate this topic, the GBPN commissioned the Economist Intelligence Unit to conduct a global survey of 423 real estate and construction executives in the US, Europe, India and China. The survey shows that there is a large consensus among executives worldwide on the issue of climate change. In Europe, China and India, 84% of respondents consider cutting their carbon emissions associated with their business to be their responsibilities. In the US though, 60% are likely to accept this responsibility. The report also shows that many companies are ill-informed about energy realities. Are they aware of their energy consumption? Providing heating and cooling represents between 20 and 60% of building energy use. However, one third of the respondents think this represents less than 20% of their building's energy budget and hence underestimate the associated costs and the potential for saving money with efficiency measures. Many are also unclear about the cost of constructing energy efficient buildings. Two thirds of respondents overestimate the cost, saying that energy efficient buildings cost 15% or more to construct than a standard building. However, the actual cost only varies between 5% to 15%. With regard to regulation, 75% of respondents welcome energy efficiency regulation. According to 34% of the respondents, better enforcement of existing legislation could boost investments in energy efficiency. 68% of respondents think that carbon taxes are helpful to drive investments in efficient buildings. And the same proportion believe that global agreements limiting carbon emissions would create a level playing field for businesses. Is energy efficiency good for business? There is clear evidence in the report that this message is gaining momentum across the building sector. 63% of respondents say that energy efficiency influences their investment decisions, and this is true across all regions. Half of respondents are taking a long-term view of investments. More than 50% of respondents are ready to tolerate payback terms of five years or longer. In Europe, 30% of respondents are ready to accept payback periods of more than a decade. What are the current practices? Four in 10 respondents say that their company is going beyond equipment upgrades. Half of respondents are adding building insulation. Almost the same proportion are adopting more efficient HVAC systems and replacing inefficient lighting. However, to move to the deep path, more needs to be done to encourage business to invest in deep retrofitting and net zero energy new buildings. The businesses surveyed by the EIU are ready to go deep and are waiting for the right policy signals. The GBPN helps craft policy packages that will make today's leading state-of-the-art practices the standard for all buildings by 2020.